It's congenital heart defect awareness week. According to the American Heart Association, twice as many children die from the defect each year than from all forms of childhood cancer. WNCT's Jacqueline Matter spent her day with one local family whose two-year-old son continues to defy the odds. I was devastated. I felt like it was a death sentence. That's how Loren Williams reacted when she first learned of her son's heart condition. I didn't know anything about congenital heart defects. It had never been a concern because it didn't run in our families. And the most I thought about it was it was a hole in the heart. Each year, more than 40,000 babies are born with a congenital heart defect and thousands of them won't live to see their first birthday. Surgeons weren't optimistic two-year-old Benji Williams would live past his first week of life. <laughs> I never expect to see him running around in front of me and talking. Benji had his first open heart surgery at one week old, and his mom says Benji's story is a source of inspiration to bring awareness to the cause, which is why she started a foundation in his honor. We need to raise awareness. We need to educate because we need to raise funds for research uh, that give these kids fight on their own so much. We need to be their soldiers standing next to them, fighting with them and helping giving them every chance possible. Benji will face a new battle in May as he undergoes his third open heart surgery. We try not to take things for granted and we know that he fights his congenital heart defects with every heartbeat and every breath and we know that it can be gone at a minute. Doctors say Benji has defied all medical odds up to this point. In Swansboro, Jacqueline Matter, 9 on your side. To donate to Benji's Heart Foundation or to learn more about congenital heart defects, visit our website at WNCT.com.